So logic would dictate that Michelangelo is your favorite Ninja Turtle. Um, you know, I I honestly can't tell them apart, but I do realize that they have the the weaponry. So obviously Color? he's the the nunchuck man. All right, or the nunchuck turtle. <laughs> like, we need to get this information ahead of time. We'd be like, well, look under your seat. There's a pair of nunchucks. <laughs> 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 Welcome to The Leadership, a business-focused talk show brought to you by The Vested Group. We talk to entrepreneurs, employees, thought leaders, innovators, dreamers, disruptors, and even our own children about what makes us tick on and off the clock. Welcome to another edition of The Leadership Show brought to you by The Vested Group. You can find out more about us at thevested.com. I'm here with my lovely co-host today, Johnny Zielinski, and we have the good fortune of interviewing Josh Barnett. Welcome, Josh. What's up, Josh? Thank you. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you guys? We're doing really good. Doing good. good. All right, so we'll start with kind of the beginning. How did you wind up at TVG? This is a long story. <laughs> <laughs> How did I wind up at the Vested Group? So uh, Hillary definitely knows this uh, background. Um, long time ago when I was starting my professional career, a uh, fellow coworker, April Williams, sorry, April Tenorio and I uh, worked together. And uh, Joel's uh, previous uh, firm, Lucidity, did our Oracle implementation. So that was 20 years ago this year is when I met both Joel and Hillary. Oh my gosh. Um, so that's we were like 15, just to be, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pre, <laughs> pre marriage, kids, I mean, all, all of that for everybody. Um, and so um, about six years ago, uh, I was leaving that organization. And oddly enough, April had reached back out to me kind of in a joking but somewhat serious manner about talking to, to Joel. So uh, fast track. About six months later, I was working at the Vesta Group. Do you know your number? I think probably at the time I was somewhere around 15. Um, and we've had a, a handful of, of those folks that were there at the time that have, have left for various reasons. Um, but I, I think I was roughly about 15. Think you bump up when people leave? Yeah. <laughs> what do you have now? I mean, I guess you do, seniority, right? I mean, that's how it, it, it I mean, Probably put me about 10, 9 or 10 maybe. Look at that. Josh says he's so. top 10 at the Vested mm -hmm. Group. There, yeah. that's... Make note. Yes. <laughs> All right. Tell us about uh, your family, siblings, parents, you know, spouses, and like kind of where you grew up, just your background. Okay. So I grew up in Garland, um, about five miles south of where we office in Plano. Um, lived in Garland my whole life. My parents are still married, um, have one brother. Um, have a wife. Uh, we've been together 16 years. Um, no kids, and that's it. Garland, huh? Garland, is the rough brother? streets of Garland. <laughs> yes. yes. Is your brother still around here too? Uh, he is. Yes, he and his wife. Um, we both live in the Lakewood area, and they just bought a home in Irving. Um, so they'll actually be moving, I believe, in May. So they're uh, starting that process. Why Irving? Uh, money. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> what, a good reason. What, uh, what you can, uh, how much house you can get for for what it costs. So that uh, found found them there. It's by the airport. I mean, yeah. no, very convenient. There are reasons. Yes. My, my dad moved out there. And I, oh, okay. I, I always have to ask. You know, everybody's reasons. It's nice. Irving's nice. Yeah. yeah my my brother right now works. Um, he's in Colleyville, I guess. And then uh, Lori, she she's back here by SMU, so. I think it'll be a longer drive now for her, but it's price price they're willing to pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. So. Okay. Um, oh, this is a good one for you. So, how would your wife describe what you do? <laughs> um, she would say that I help people with their computers, and she knows it has something to do with finance. Is how she would describe it. Not wrong. No, yeah. Vague, vague specifics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I mean, it covers most of the basics there. So what would you say that you do? What I would say I do is um, I partner up with people who need a better software system to progress their company, whether it's uh, growth reasons, uh, better processes, um, but put in uh, uh, industry-leading standards for those processes and a... Um, 
a stable software platform. Everybody has their, I just want to like get like a rapid fire of everybody's explanation of what they do and then just play it in the sequence on YouTube and then we'll just, then we'll send that back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> then, then it should cover everything potentially at that point. We'll right? send that to our client. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> All right, so um, why do you, oh, I guess, is there more to that? Do we want to ask him like? Oh, oh no, that's, that's what it, he that's does. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so why do you come to work? Why do I come to work? Yeah. Um, I like to help people. I like the challenge. Um, so both of those I uh, get to do every single day. I definitely like my coworkers who yeah, I work too. for, mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm sure that's been repeated culture, people, of course. Um, but the, the work part is, is challenging and, um, it's rewarding to, uh, see, you know, take someone from having a, a, a problem and, and seeing the other side of it when that problem no longer exists and being a part of that, it's, uh, it's very rewarding. Absolutely. So when you were little, you probably weren't planning on working in the finance <laughs> side of an ERP. So what, what did you want to be? Or were you? Um, I mean, no, you right, but... no I, I had no idea anything about that. Um, I would say when I was young, um, I had a, a somewhat, for me, a traumatic weather event that I was a part of. So I spent about two years wanting to be a meteorologist. Mm. That's a very timely, considering our recent <laughs> traumatic weather event. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> I could see that. Let's say it was, you know, the movie Twister. Do you want to be a storm chaser? No. Oh, well, no. I mean, it, it was a tornado. So, I mean, you know, that that storm. But yes, uh, I think I was probably about eight um, at one of uh, my brother's baseball games, and there was a, a tornado that that dropped down. So, um, watched that in person, somewhat up close probably, you know, many miles away, but feels right on top of you. Uh, so yeah, probably for about two years after that, any time a rainstorm would come through, I was parked on the couch looking out the front window watching for the tornado, so. Up until snowpocalypse 2021, those are really right. the only severe weather events we get around mm -hmm. Dallas. Yeah, that's fairly true. Yeah, that's what you worry about. Now we're just like, water. We need water, yeah. <laughs> electricity. Yeah, other than occasional, you know, 150 degree day, you know. Mm -hmm. There was the um, the summer of '98. There was all of the fires in Mexico that blew all the smoke up through Texas. If y'all remember that, when was that? That was fun. '98. '98. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was busy watching Pokemon, but I'm sure I was concerned. All right, so, that's yeah. cool. I don't, can't say I remember, but sure. I believe you. Yeah. Did it make it cooler or warmer? I just remember the smell. Oh. Mm. In the gray. It's funny. We think maybe cooler shade. Yeah. All right. So, how long have you been at the Vested Group? First of all, I've been uh, six and a half years. Six and a half years. So mm -hmm. enough time to develop a, an idea for what's your favorite workplace tradition? Workplace tradition. Um, I would definitely say quarterly events, um, which I think probably lots of companies do them, but. Um, shouldn't take that for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's nice to have a, an organized event where all your coworkers get together outside of work and, um, you know, take that aspect of why we're together out of it. Sure. Um, and so I, you know, I, I guess over my tenure, we've gone bowling, we've done top golf, we've done whirly ball. Um, but without a doubt, the, the best was curling. I'd I was hoping you were going to say oh, that. Yeah. Was curling was yeah. a blast. That was a lot of fun. Ice curling, for those of you watching, that's what yes. we went and did one day. Yes. Yeah. Much harder than it looks when you <laughs> even watch the Olympics. Yeah. Not easy. Yeah, we all make fun of it that we were out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah, that was, it was, that was, it was a blast. So wait, wasn't your first day, like, fair day? So my, my third day was fair oh, day. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and I don't think it's a an interview appropriate uh, story that came from that. Not not for me personally, but just someone that works at the Vested Group. So oh, um, good times. Just leave that hanging out. Yeah, there. absolutely. Yeah. Ask me about it off camera, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious if his first day was fair day though. Welcome to the Vested Group. <laughs> Here's your tickets. We're going on rides. Yeah, day three. Day <laughs> three. I knew I knew this was the place for me. Yes. Good decision. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. This, there's got to be a lot for this, actually. What do you wish people knew about you? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I really like nunchucks. Um, 
I can't use them. Um, I have a pair that a friend gave me. They're uh, safety nunchucks, so they're padded, so you shouldn't be able to hurt yourself. Um, but yeah, I'm just fascinated by people who can really work nunchucks. So I, I like I, to make a lot of humor amongst my friends about nunchucks and things of that nature. I think that it would be, we'd be remiss if we didn't announce that you were the office Wikipedia, basically, there's, there's nothing that Josh doesn't know. I mean, it's, it's amazing. So I'm sure the things that people don't know about you are infinite because it's amazing what you come up with. I appreciate that, Hillary. So logic would dictate that Michelangelo is your favorite Ninja Turtle. Um, you know, I, I honestly can't tell them apart, but I do realize that they have the, the weaponry. So obviously Color? he's the, the nunchuck man All right, or the nunchuck turtle. <laughs> like, we need to get this information ahead of time. We'd be like, well, look under your seat. There's a pair of nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I want to be clear. I, I can't use them. So, you know, that, that would have, that would have been very embarrassing. That wouldn't yeah. have stopped us. No. Yeah. That'd be even better. Right. <laughs> yeah. We have Daniel bring out his little keyboard and start playing it too. Play him off. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. Next time. All right. So, what do you enjoy? What do you enjoy doing when you're not at work, aside from nun checking? Uh, let's see. Um, I, I'm a big music fan, so I love music. Um, you know, not a whole lot of live music going on right now, so that's a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and I love to travel, and when I can combine those two, then I'm I'm extremely happy. Okay. So if we can some type, some type of airplane that just has speakers lined throughout it so you can just blast music while that would traveling. Be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, that'd be cool. The RV, like, you know how you can do the RV tours, the baseball mm -hmm. games? You could do the RV of the all the concerts. Or there you the, go. The festivals around. Sounds like my type, of, my type of vacation. I mean, have you ever traveled to go like to a concert specifically, like out of state? Oh, man, many, many a time. Oh, yes. Um, band in particular would be the Charlatans, my mm -hmm. favorite band. Um, I've seen them in, let's see, Dallas, Austin, Atlanta, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, oh, just San favorite. Francisco, um, Vancouver, Portland, Seattle. So I've seen the Charlatans a lot of places. Yeah, um, favorite festival? Um, you know, I haven't been to a festival in a, in a long time. I... Um, we used to go to South by Southwest a lot uh, back when we were younger, so I, I would go with South by Southwest. It's a solid one. Yeah, it's fun. So, always so many amazing bands yeah, there. It's huge, yeah, as it is. All right, so what would you say is the funniest thing that's happened to you recently? It's a tough one with COVID, right? <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah, I don't know that I have a really good example of that. Um, I would, yeah, I'd probably just say being being silly with my goofy friends on on text messaging, you know, basically staying in touch right now. Yeah, yeah. the best way we can. Yeah, yes. it's not you know Zoom meetings; it's group texts. Exactly. Fair enough. All right. Well, we finish this interview, Josh, and we we walk outside, and you find a lottery ticket for fifteen million dollars. It is all yours. What are you doing with it? What am I doing with fifteen million dollars? Um. We're going to come up with a way to uh, use that money to, to start a program to, to help the kids. I don't know what that would look like exactly, but I, I think that, uh, that that's, that's how I'd want to use that money. Just a kid's program? Children's charity. Yeah, yeah. children's charity for sure. Mm -hmm. Noble. Yeah. No, so, I mean, would you use any of it? Would you go on a vacation anywhere? New car? Bottle of scotch? Mm. Um, it's a pretty entirely thing. Got I know. Oh, I got this guy <laughs> taken care of. Um, uh, no, not really. Um, I'd ra I'd rather I'd rather buy a cool house than than a car. Yeah. When, when I, if I ever get interviewed, I'm gonna sound like the most selfish jerk on the planet. <laughs> when you guys ask me that question, I'm gonna be like, no one's getting a dollar. <laughs> I'm going on a 15 million dollar vacation. <laughs> Well, you've had a lot yeah. of people give you options, so now you have, like, you know, yeah, them fresh in your mind versus just yeah, Absolutely, all and they're all crossed out except for what I want to do. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> maybe you'll rise to the occasion. It could happen. <laughs> all right, Josh, this has got to be a good one for you. Perfect, perfect question. What music would you have be your intro music every time you walk into a room? All right, so we're going with uh, Eric B. and Rakim's Follow the Leader. 
Can you hum a few bars of that? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I just won't. <laughs> um, no, Rockham's my favorite MC. And uh, yeah, the, the words speak for themselves. Follow the leader. All right. All right. Definitely have to, in the show notes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, last question. If you are CEO tomorrow, Joel stepped down, you, you took his place, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to buy us a vested group vehicle, um, like a, I guess we would need a, a bus with as many of us as there are now, but we're going to have branded vehicles to uh, take us on our excursions. Well, we already have a vested group fleet car, the uh, Jeep Gladiator. That's white. true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But that's only going to hold so many, Johnny. We we need we need party buses. Party buses, okay? Because we also have the golf cart. That's not uh, enough. No, yeah. uh, it's not enough space. We have the party bus. I like it. Yeah, yeah party bus. Take us to concerts. <laughs> exactly. Take us to the Ranger game. Take us to our quarterly events. I mean, you have got real potential here, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good answer. I'm sure that we could take TVG and find a nice way to turn that into a vehicle name. <laughs> Just get a wrap. <laughs> The, the van, something, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah let's something do it. Clean, we'll do something clean, yes. <laughs> I like <yes>. it. <laughs> all right, Josh, well, we appreciate your time coming out here on the show with us today. You're welcome. Tell us, all your, tell us about your cool history and how you got here and all the fun information, so appreciate it. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Hillary. Thanks for coming out. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, you can watch more of the leadership episodes on YouTube. Just search The Vested Group, or you can find out more about us, as always, at thevested.com. Thanks, and uh, see you next time.